Come on in, everybody. How's everybody doing this evening? Hello on Instagram. Hello on YouTube. Let me make sure my... Can everybody hear me okay? <laughs> Just want to make sure everybody can hear me okay. Um, the other day we were having some technical difficulties. And I had to delete my um, live that I had done on YouTube. But thank God... I also do my lives on Instagram as well. So all I had to do was download the Instagram. <laughs> to, and what live was that? I think that was um Housewives. Yeah, I think that was the Housewives. No, 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 no. That was uh, Love and Hip Hop New York. So if you notice on my YouTube, if you watch that video and notice it was like done with a camera or whatever. Yeah, that was my Instagram. <laughs> but anyway, I hope everything um, is okay with everybody. Everybody is all well. I just was on uh, Miss AT Aliens live and I heard they had an earthquake last night in Atlanta. Well, not really in Atlanta, but um, it was in Tennessee. And I guess like the aftershocks or maybe they were on the fault line or something like that. So they felt it, you know, in Atlanta. But um haven't heard about any fatalities or anything like that. And Michelle Brown also says she hasn't heard of any fatalities. So thank God, you know, everybody's okay and everything. But yeah, that reminded me when we had one here in Omaha, probably about, I want to say two years ago. And that was the very, 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 very first time I had ever experienced what an earthquake feel like. And it was basically um, in Oklahoma, but even though we in Nebraska, we're right on the fault line. So it went all the way up, <laughs> all the way up. So we felt it too. But um, you guys, I don't know what's going on in this world. Um, Maybe it's all the negativity and beefs and everything that's been going on on YouTube that has kept me kind of like distracted, sort of, kind of, um, regarding this nature boy guy. Like, have I really been sleeping under a rock? Do y'all know who this guy is? Have y'all heard about him? Um, do y'all know his story? Like, I have been hearing bits and pieces, you know, regarding this nature boy and how he's supposed to be a cult leader and he calls himself Christ. And, um, they, I don't, I, man, it's, it's a lot. Um, he has a YouTube channel. He has a, uh, Instagram page and I don't know, probably has a Facebook page too. I didn't look it up. So I don't know if he has a Facebook page, but I do know he has a Instagram channel I mean, uh, page and there's lots of, uh, matter of fact, they have a, hold on, let me pull it up real quick. I'm going to show you. Lord have mercy. Okay. Let me make sure I get to the right, um, run because you know how sometimes you create a page and like, say you're popular or star or you know celebrity or whatnot not like me <laughs> but other people will create pages um just like what you know with your name on it or whatnot so I want to make sure I'm on the right page hmm and he posts a lot of videos. They post a lot of videos. But anyway, um, just to give you a little information on who I'm referring to, I'm a, I, his picture I put on my thumbnail, but I'm going to uh, show his picture again right here. One sec. And some of y'all probably, probably already, like I said, I probably just been under... I don't know. I must have just been sleeping under a rock, I tell you. Because I'm like, who is this nature boy? Nature boy, I know about soldier boy. <laughs> I know about soldier boy, but I don't know about no nature boy. So um, here's this picture right here. Move my phone out the way. I got my phone propped up here.
Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Wrong one, wrong one. Okay, hold on. Let me get this set up right. <clears throat> okay, browser. No, that's not it. Oh, I see what I did. Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Hold on one second. Okay, can y'all see that? That's one picture of Nature Boy. The guy to your, well, of course, the other lady, the other person is a lady. That other, uh, that man with the dress, the beady little eyes, looking all crazy. <laughs> that is Soldier Boy. And let me see. Here's, I'm trying to find, um, here's another picture of him right here. Right in the middle. But, um, let me see. Here's a picture right here. This is Soldier Boy. These people, like, live in the jungle. Well, I wouldn't say even the jungle. But basically, they supposedly live in the nature. They he, he He's from, um, they say he used to live in Atlanta. He used to live in New Jersey. Um... He used to be a stripper. He used to be a model. Um, he even used to be a barber. But uh, right now, he's a cult leader. And I had no idea who this man was. I never had heard of him. And then, like I said, recently I've been seeing all these videos about Nature Boy and his cult members. And... Um, it's like all over social media and I had no idea. So I'm like, maybe I have been sleeping under a rock. Like I was doing a little bit of research, you know, trying to figure out who he was, a little bit of his background. And I guess his name, his real name, because he goes by Nature Boy. He also goes by Allegio the Christ. Um, but his real name is Allegio Bishop. Um, right now, they reside in Costa Rica. Um, they don't know how many members he have in his cult right now, but I think is at least probably about at least, I don't know, 30 to 50 people right now. Um, the, the main thing about this guy that I've been reading about in the videos that I have been watching and the comments, the commentary videos that I've been watching, um, a lot of people is concerned about the children that are being born within this group of people because um, they're alleging that Soldier Boy and some of the members in the group, I, I don't know if I want to call him a cult, even though they say he professed to be a cult leader, but... Um, it kind of is... Well, I guess it kind of is like a cult because... Basically, their um, beliefs are totally different <laughs> than what most people believe um, as far as like 
us the okay I, should i say normal okay everybody besides them put it this way everybody besides them um lives in babylon that's what it's called if we're not with them or believing whatever they believe we're living in babylon <laughs> and they're living in like i think it's called mellow nation or carbon nation or something like that you have to watch some of the videos um it's really crazy and let me see if i can find one of the videos that he had posted on instagram um also again um his location right now is in uh they say it's like a costa rican jungle um but it's their exact location is unknown but one of their members um actually had a baby and the reason why matter of fact there's a petition that's what really struck me that's what really got my attention because there's a petition going around um social media even on youtube um they're asking for officials to basically bring the children back to the states that are within that cult because they're claiming that nature boy and a lot of the cult members or whatever you want to call them they have hiv and herpes and it's spread like <laughs> everybody's sleeping with each other and spreading the disease around um it's alleged that soldier boy also was infected although they're preaching I, I wouldn't call it preaching they're teaching that there's no such thing as hiv there's no such thing as diseases um the diseases are all in your head um it's all in what you believe in if you believe you got hiv if you believe you got cancer if you believe you know they don't believe in going to the doctor um the baby that was born to one of the members there um didn't go to a hospital they had the baby out in the wildlife but the thing about it is they keep stressing you know it's all about nature and you know living in nature and they sleep on the ground and they walk around barefoot with no clothes on um Except for, of course, when they're doing videos, you know, their Instagram or YouTube videos, you know, of course they have on clothes then. But, <laughs> but, uh, normally when they're off camera, everybody walks around naked, like, like they back in Eden or somewhere, you know, back in Africa, you know, walking around butt naked, <laughs> carefree. But I had watched this video the other day and they had uh, another thing they make music they they write they rap um they make music which is funny to me because they keep stressing how it's all about living in nature and you know we're babylon you know our way of thinking our way of living is babylon and their way of thinking is right you know whatever they think is right as far as having multiple wives and um not not believing in medicine and not believing in diseases and just being from the earth or whatnot but they live in homes they live in homes they shop at normal grocery stores you know where they are they they've been seeing on their videos at grocery stores um they they have laptops they have cell phones they have <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have uh, stereo equipment, obviously, to make music. Like, they make music, not just be singing and stuff, but they make music. They make beats. They make, you know what I mean? Um, and then, like, on his Instagram, you can't speak to him. You can't comment on his Instagram unless you have the word Christ in your name. Isn't that crazy? It, it it is wild. It is wild. I'm trying to pull up a uh one of his videos so y'all can see what the heck I'm talking about. And and like I said, there are so many um let's see. Is this one? Okay. 
here's a picture. I'm going to show you a picture of his, uh, this is one location where they live, but, but they also were living in homes as well. And they have tents as well too. So let me show y'all real quick. Okay. All right, let's see what this is saying right here. See, there's the home. There's the little baby. That's the lady who just had a baby recently. So, as you can see, they are living carefree there. <laughs> carefree. Like, walking around, the ladies, they walk around with no clothes on. I made sure I stopped the video before it showed, like, some, you know, boobies, boobs, and, you know, privates and everything like that. But, um... I, I I just can't believe it. And a little more information um, on him. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Um, the name, again, his name is Alicio Bishop. He's a former model, a stripper, a former prostitute. Yeah, he used to prostitute. He claims he used to do it just to make money, but I ain't judging him on that. <laughs> I ain't judging him on that, but, and a barber, um, but he's now a self-professed cult, le cult leader. They are living in Costa Rica, some kind of jungle. Um, he's 34 years old. And I mean, he even have a, he has a past, you know, he has a past besides the stripping and the, uh, prostituting and, you know, he was arrested a couple of times, you know, aggravated battery, um, theft, forcible entry. Um, but they said that he was trying to, you know, make a change in his life at one point in time and, you know, stop living a life of crime. And actually, you know, that's when he started to learn how to cut hair. He went to barber school. Um, he had actually got a barber license and everything and had his own shop in Georgia. So I'm like, how he go from all of that to now being a cult leader? It's, it's okay. I'm going to give you the name of his. Um, again, I'm going to give you the name of his. Follow him. Or if you don't want to follow him and just want to check out some of the videos, um, it's Alicio the Christ on Instagram. So make sure you check that out. And as far as on YouTube, there is a channel called Carbonation that has a lot of the videos on there that they have posted. A lot of the videos they post on Instagram, actually they delete. But some people follow them and they record their videos and then they post them on YouTube. So if you catch them on Instagram, you're lucky. <laughs> because most of the time they do delete a lot of their Instagram videos. But I was just trying to find out, you know, are you guys, do you know about this man? What do you think about him? What do you think about, you know, their cult, um, their way of thinking? Again, a lot of people are coming down on them because of the simple fact there are people there who have said they had HIV. Um, there are people there who have said they had herpes. So, and then they were passing around women, you know, through the, I want to keep saying tribe, but it's not a tribe. It's a cult, you know, passing around women, them sleeping with each other. Um, one of the, and then if you notice, like if you follow their videos and like go back to some of the older videos, you'll see like the difference in their appearance and their, their, their weight and their look and their facial structure and I mean, some of the ladies were like, you know, not like 
thick like me, but like, oh, what you say, boss money? Mar yeah, I think he is, it's, honey, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm, I'm just like, I'm like, where I been? <laughs> like, where have I been? Literally, why have I never heard about this guy? this nature boy but if you follow the videos i mean a lot of them look like they either are malnourished or not eating well or i i i don't know and the lady who just had a baby like i mean her 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 bones just projecting out of her body and her i mean they were showing like before pics and after pics you know uh, the one who just recently had a baby and the baby was so small and so little and no doctors. I mean, they don't believe in going to the doctors. I don't know why they won't go to a doctor because it's not like any of them, <laughs> you know, are nurses or anything. So they just having babies over there and popping them out in the wilderness. But um, there's a petition going around YouTube. I didn't sign it because I didn't really know what was going on until I started watching some of the videos. I still don't know if I'll sign it. You know, I got to, you know, watch, maybe watch a few more videos and follow him a little more to find out exactly um, what's going on here. Because a lot of things are allegations, but... If you watch the videos, you'll see how um, some of the women who go over there, like their families are begging and pleading for them to come home. They think Nature Boy has is keeping some of them hostage. Uh, there was one time where uh, Nature Boy's uh, wife, is their name Willow? Is that her name? But her real name is Velvet. Her real name is Velvet. And she was FaceTiming her sisters and her brothers, and her uh, grandma, and they were going off and cussing him out because they want her to come back home. It's like a lot of these people are being brainwashed over there, and their family feel like they've been brainwashed, or that they've been held hostage, and you know, they can't come home, but he was on live, like, you know what, she can, she can come home, she can leave whenever she wants. I'm not holding her hostage, but Y'all, y'all just gotta, y'all just gotta watch the video, the videos, <laughs> as Brother Jay would say. Y'all gotta watch the videos. But um, have you been following him, Boss Money, on Instagram or on uh YouTube? I literally just start hearing about this guy like probably a couple of weeks ago. And I'm like, oh my God. But then I was trying to watch some of the videos and I was just getting like, I can't take this. I, I just, I can't do it. I don't see how people watch a lot of his videos because I can't do it. I was like, what the heck is you talking about? I mean, what? <laughs> you said from watching the videos to sum it up. They were not doing good in America, so they left their responsibilities to live. And you know what? That's what it sounds like, too. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. You heard of Nature Boy, Tara? Um, I, like I said, I must have been living under a rock. But when I watch them videos, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, every, I mean, every other word is the earth and the moon and the, I mean... <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Oh, thank you for subbing, Tara. You said if you check out Young Pharaoh, you know what? I think I seen something on Young Pharaoh, and there's this other lady. Um, what is her name? Oh gosh, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I can't remember her name right now. But um, what is her name? Is it Zane? Zane? Jane, uh, let me see if I can look it up real quick. Oh, I can't find her. But I had subscribed to her page. Um, and she uploads some videos sometime. I'm trying to find out her name. 
I was like, I need to find out some more information on this dude because this is crazy. And if they all over there, you know, not believing in doctors and having sex with everybody and no protection. And I mean, just running around butt naked through the jungle carefree. Like I, the thing about it was when they said that they think the people over there have HIV and herpes and they just freely having sex with each other. I'm like, I don't know if I, I don't know because the, okay, like how he be talk, okay, like how he be talking and they all be standing there like at attention, like they are in the military at, or at boot camp. Sometimes it, it has a feeling like they are being brainwashed. I mean, and then sometimes it's like when they're talking, it's like they have, they're making sure that what they are saying is something that he's a, he's agree, he agrees with or he approves. You know what I mean? I, I don't think, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I had heard about that. <laughs> I had heard about Serenity. <laughs> and did y'all see the video that they made the other day? Um, oh, goodness. Hold on, hold on. They had made a music video the other day, and all the girls were dancing around and they they had their hands in the air and they was you know waving around like they just don't care and i noticed that they had like buckwheat under their armpits i'm like are you serious like are you serious and I was like, okay, okay, I get it. Y'all out in the forest, y'all in the wilderness, y'all in the jungle or whatnot. But do they not care about hygiene at all anymore? <laughs> I'm like, do y'all care about hygiene at all anymore? And, and the main thing about it was, it was probably about an hour worth of songs. They were singing and rapping and some of them got some skills. Some of them got some talent. Some of them songs, I was up there. I ain't even going to lie. I was like nodding my head like, hey, that one's kind of nice there. But then I was checking out the ladies and how unkept they are in their personal areas. And I'm like, and then they talk about everybody over there got HIV and herpes. And the little bitty baby that was born looked like it was just so malnourished. <sighs> Yep, yep. And that's sad. That's real sad. Like you leaving your children behind here in the States and leaving all your responsibility and following this man. And he has been like um, having people like send money and stuff for them so they could take care of themselves because nobody over there works. They're just living in the forest, running around, you know. <laughs> Like kids with nothing, with no worries, just running around like little kids with no worries. Of course, you know, having sex and doing all that other stuff. But, and that's cool if you want to live out in the nature and you want to, but as far as like the baby out there, the mother who had the baby, what's her name? Uh, um, mm -mm -mm. I can't remember her name, but she, she had got like really, really small and she had the baby a little while ago and she just looks like ugh. she looks like she needs an IV stuck in her arm immediately. <laughs> like she needs to be replenished immediately. Serenity, that's her serenity. She looks like she needs to be replenished immediately. I don't even know what to say. I'm just like, I'm just shocked. I'm like, is this real? Is this really real? And then I heard they were kicked out. First they were in, uh, where were they at at first? Was it Mexico? No, they're in Costa Rica now. 
this is this is crazy. This is crazy. But I don't understand. It's ugh. I'm like and then the ladies are like, oh, they believe everything he say. Like, we don't have diseases because we don't believe it. <laughs> we don't believe it. It's, it's all up here. It's all up here. <laughs> so everybody over here or everybody who's outside of their circle who lives in Babylon and who believes in cancer and HIV and herpes and all the other diseases and everything all that stuff if we didn't believe it we, nobody would ever have it yeah they were in costa rica then they went to mexico yep but um as far as like they were saying you know they didn't have no they didn't really have no visas oh my god when they showed the video <laughs> When they were trying to leave and they were all trying to get on the bus and they had put them off the bus because they said, no, the plane, they had put them off the plane because they said they were so, the, the smell was just horrible. Like they don't take baths. I mean, I, I can't do it. I can't just be off in nature, not putting no soap on my behind and not shaving my armpits or, you know, they had like buckwheat under their armpits. I was like, the ladies do not shave. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> uh, 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 did you see the white girl though? That white girl, she was dancing harder than the black ones. I was like, okay. <laughs> she had, she was trying to be all in the camera too. She was trying to be all in the camera when Nature Boy got in front of her and when he was, uh, you know, doing his rap or whatever. She was leaning her head all out the side behind him, you know, making sure she was seen. I was like, okay, okay. But as far as them really being happy over there, I, I, I can't. I can't imagine that they all are. I can't. They don't look... I mean, like you said, it just looks like they just ran away from all their issues, ran away from all their problems, and they have to give him money, of course, if they don't if they don't provide money. But then the thing is, um, if they don't have jobs, even if they bring money with them and they're not working... How are they keep providing for themselves? Is it just all the money they getting from like social media, like their YouTube or, you know, their Instagram? Yep. And then the last video. Yes, I just saw a video that said um, somebody is crying for help. Yep. I saw that one, too. They got to be doing bad. But I mean, if he's getting... uh. I don't know if he gets monetized off of YouTube because they have videos on YouTube. They have videos on Instagram and they, they have a lot of views. So I don't know why they're not getting monetized or I don't know. That baby was small. And then they said they were, yeah, they said they were eating from the placenta. Now I heard people do that in real life In real life. I wouldn't do it. No, I, I don't even want to see it. Throw that mess away. <laughs> Throw that mess away. <laughs> but if it came from Serenity and they talking about she smell like, oh God, I don't know. But if they, okay, if they're not shaving, if they're not bathing, and if they got put off a plane, you know that's some stinking tails over there. Even, even people who live in the jungles like for real for real they take baths they get them some aloe and they get them <laughs> and they don't have no stores shoot they come on now come on now mm -mm. they're mad at everyone in america but again 
I'm I just be tripping off of how they claim, you know, we Babylon and they they don't mess with Babylon and you can't comment on their posts unless you got Christ in their name and all this. But they they use modern technology over there. How you sleeping in a tent? But you got the latest iPhone. And then then that how did you see the big huge speakers? I mean, they have like the works to create music, to make beats, to produce music. I mean, all that stuff. They got TVs and big screens. I mean, I saw the houses they was living in. And then they also have tents. So I'm like, which one is it? Are you really living in the wilderness or is y'all over there faking the funk? But yeah, I think I think this is a hustle. I don't I don't as far as the people being happy over there or not. Um, I think some of them are brainwashed and I think the others are just over there as an escape. It's an escape. He goes over there, they go over there and he takes care of everything, provides everything. Um, and they leave everything back here in the States. But, mm -mm. what did y'all think about how she was talking to her mom and them though? <clears throat> And when they call her Velvet, and he looked like, who is Velvet? Like, he didn't even know her real name. I thought that was crazy. Like, you over there with this man, that's supposed to be your husband, and he didn't even know your real name. I saw a lot of them before they went there, and they looked so different. Like, even him, he looks like... I don't know. They all look like they need some medication. <laughs> they all look like they need some medication. <laughs> they need some vitamin D, some medication, some uh, <laughs> Robitussin. <laughs> yep. Yep. So he can control their minds. Yep. And I watched that one video and it was so sad. Her sisters and her, her Nana, her grandma, whatever she calls her. They was just like, please come home, please come home. And they even went to uh, the media. They even went to the media, to the TV stations. You know, we just want her to come home. I feel sorry. I feel sorry for them. I, I really do. Um, I just don't know what led him to this. Like, you go from a stripper, you go from a prostitute allegedly allegedly um i know he did porn i know he did porn um he used to be a barber how do you go from all that to running a cult that's just that's crazy you said i'm sure he threatens all of them and says he's going to kick them out of who whose video was that that i was watching Oh, God, I'm going to have to start writing down all these people's names. It's <clears throat> but the one that was writing, the one that had recorded, it was three videos. One of three, two of three, three of three. It was three videos. And she was saying how badly he treats um, his wife. And how he was always yelling and screaming at her all the time. And she never mentioned anything about him being abusive. Or anything like that, you know, besides verbally. But I was thinking, like, this chick is leaving something out. She's leaving. If he's constantly screaming and yelling at her for hours, who screams and yells at somebody for hours? And she'd be like, it'd be over nothing. Like, nothing. <clears throat> when they came there with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one lady, the older lady. She had died over there. And then she had cancer. I think she had cancer. And he had convinced her that she would be healed if she went over there. And if she did this, that, and the third. And she stopped taking all her medicines. Like, she take all her medicines. And then there was a baby. <coughs> mm -hmm. You said a lady over died. And from what I'm hearing, his baby mother died after leaving there. Mmm. She probably had she probably had that stuff. And then wasn't there a baby over there? I thought there was a baby over there that was born too that passed away.
Mm-hmm. Yep, I, I could have sworn it was a, they said there was a baby that was born over there. Not the one that was just born by Serenity, but the, uh, there was another baby born there that had passed away. Or they were asking, like, what happened to the baby? Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, they said he's from Atlanta, Georgia. Really? It's a darn shame. I mean, at least if you're going to have a cult and y'all don't do anything that we do over here or y'all change all y'all beliefs, at least use protection. Like, what's up with them not using protection and everybody having sex with anybody, with everybody and passing women back and forth? And they said he has HIV and herpes. Like, those are some serious allegations. And I guess... Thus is the uh, petition that they're sending around social media. I was shocked when I seen that on YouTube. Like they really have a petition for the authorities to go over there and find them and get the children. Because I, I get it though. If, they, if it's true that they have those diseases over there and that they're just having sex freely with everybody and just keeping it in the family per se, and if the baby is sick and if the baby has AIDS or anything, or not AIDS, I'm sorry, but HIV or anything else, I'm like, oh, and then she had the baby like, okay, if you have herpes, normally if you would have a baby, if you got some kind of disease like that, normally the ba if, if, if it's like, okay, sometimes it can be like dormant in your system. If it's not, then a doctor wouldn't even allow you to have the baby, you know, normally, vaginally. They would, you know, C-section it. But if she over there with herpes and HIV and they have the baby naturally, po child, po child, po child, I'm just... I just, mm, that's all I'm, that's all I be thinking about is like the kids that they're creating over there. I'm going to put it off on the plane if they come on there smell. Oh, I, I can't imagine the smell. It had to be like, <clears throat> it had to be like the worst funk ever. <laughs> it had to be like the worst funk ever. Like, have you ever smelled somebody, like, so bad where your eyes start watering? you like, oh, my damn, oh, you can't even, you can't even look straight. <laughs> you can't even look straight. I think he's just, I think he's gay, but... Like some people who are gay, they try to cover it up by being with women or call them them calling themselves, you know, bisexual. But he was doing all this before with those women, <coughs> um, stripping, uh, porn, gay porn, um, for stripping for gay guys. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I guess. I guess we can call him by. <laughs> I guess we can call him by. <laughs> he'll do. He'll do by anything. By anything. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder what would have happened if they would went to the doctor. The doctor would have been like, "Oh heck no, mm -mm. she can't even get on this bed." Nope. <laughs> They do. Like, okay, I can't remember. Y'all help me out. The lady who made the videos just recently, she made three videos. She got a gap in her tooth like mine, except for it's a little bigger. Um, she got a little afro. And she was saying how she had got upset because they keep preaching against living like the people of Babylon. But when she had went down there and they had moved, she had... Is, is that what the Airbnb? Yeah, she was saying that they were living in um, like a some townhomes or something. And she kept asking him, can she go back? Because she didn't want to live in Babylon. 
And he told her, you can't go back to the to the house because they had went on vacation. That's right. They had went on vacation. They had went to the beach. And she was like, why do we have to go to this beach? Because the beach they went to, you know, it's full of a lot of people, a lot of tourists, a lot of shops, a lot of, you know, stores, big buildings and everything. And she didn't want to be there because she was like, this is Babylon. Why can't I go back? And he was like, if you go back to the house. <laughs> they most likely can't go to the hospital because they are illegally there hiding out. Yep. And they said um, they actually only could have been there without a visa, without any kind of passports, you know, without a visa for like 90 days. But he claims they're living there legally. He, he claims they're living there legally. But I can't imagine all those people, like, it, it got to be at least 30 to 40 people over there. And for them all to have visas, mm, I think he just, and then he'd be accepting people as long as they got money, as long as they're willing to pay. And I wonder how much does he, like, charge, or you just come and just bring whatever money you have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> boss money you said to be honest they look like bums living in a cheap area mm -hmm. <laughs> the bums look better than they do the bums probably smell better than they do too <laughs> yeah he's doing it all with their money and it's like he takes all their money and he does everything <clears throat> but again I'm I'm just confused. I'm just confused. You either trying to live with the nature or you trying to live like the regular folk. Because people who really trying to live with nature and not trying to associate, okay, like the Amish. Let's say, for example, the Amish. They don't have no electricity. They don't have no TVs. They don't have no cell phones. They have like a specific person who has like cell phone for emergency. Like so many people have a cell phone. They don't use it. It's just for emergencies. God forbid something happened. They can't get to a hospital, you know, or where they need to go, whatever. Quickly enough, they do have access to the outside world, but they don't necessarily use it. And they make their own clothes. These people are shopping at grocery stores, at the dollar store, at Walmart, <laughs> they driving around in cars <laughs> then make up stupid stuff like eating at a wall yeah <laughs> yep she went over there with a bad heart that's what it was oh yeah and then remember they had asked for her yeah they had asked for her clothing and jewelry and he told them that she had gave it to him I was like okay Okay, that's wrong. That's wrong. Send that old lady, send her stuff back to her family. That's just wrong. He probably done took that stuff to the pawn shop, that jewelry. Shoot, soon as she passed. And then what they do with her? Where's the body? Where's the body? Did they just bury her in the woods? Mm-mm. I don't know, they got a little cross in the dirt in the backyard where they just laid her to rest. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, horse shank cares. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, they still ride around horse and buggies and horse and carriages. And they do occasionally have to go, you know, mingle with the regular folk. But normally they do stuff on their own. They make their own furniture. They make their own clothes. They make their own uh, pottery. They make their own. I mean, they do a lot. They do a lot. I wish I knew how to do half the stuff the Amish knew how to do. And they make the best furniture. <laughs> They made the best furniture, bedroom furniture, living room furniture, cabinets, I mean, curios, all kind of stuff. 
<clears throat> right, he don't, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. It's just crazy. It's, 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 I just can't believe it. And then um, somebody had wrote that, you know, they, somebody who does research on cults and things like that said from their research that he is a very dangerous person. They believe he's a very, very dangerous person. And when they say dangerous, I don't think they necessarily mean he might be over there like killing or shooting or something like that. But I really believe that, honestly, they have some diseases over there that are incurable. And he's trying to create like a little community where they all can freely do whatever they want to do with each other. Because I hate to look at it this way, but um, it's kind of like two people who are in a relationship and they end up getting HIV or AIDS or something like that. Um, well, it's like, well, we got it now, you know, no need to use protection. We can have sex all we want. You know what I mean? I, I hate to look at it like that. But that's what it seems like to me. That That's just the angle. I'm looking at it like, yeah, we're going to start this community. You know, people who got incurable diseases. Oh, besides, we don't believe in diseases anyway. But if you think you got it, come on over here and send us a couple thousand dollars. And, you know, you can move in one of our tents. And we'll get you a wife. <laughs> Yep, you got to have good, you got to have skills, you got to have money. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> what do you got to do, please? He don't even want to talk to nobody if you don't have Christ in your name. Like, he blocked everybody that comments on his uh, Instagrams, he be blocking them. If you say anything negative, if you don't agree with what he's saying, block, 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 block. And you got to have Christ behind your name in order to interact with him. I'm like, who does that? <laughs> like, I'm not putting Christ nowhere in my name. I mean, you calling yourself Christ. Come on now. Is he the Antichrist? Mm -mm, I don't play with God like that. Mm -mm. I ain't about to be calling myself Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Nazareth. Uh, <laughs> no, Jehovah, no, I'm not, no, no, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, somebody has said that he hates women, that's what somebody has said, he hates women, and maybe that's why he does what he does as well, you know, trying to brainwash them, making them do what he wants them to do, talk how he wants them to talk, uh, you know, look like he wants them to look, which is like some cave women, looking like some cave women. I was like, no, I was, I was tripping. I'm, I'm telling y'all, I was watching that video. I kept rewinding that video. I ain't even gonna lie. And then I commented on the video. I said, am I saying that right? Do the women not shave their armpits? I mean, it was like hair just hanging all out. Like you can braid that hair. That's how much hair they had under their armpits. I'm like, am I seeing this right? <laughs> And I'm and they talk about oh they 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 it's all about nature, you know, living in nature and okay, you don't shave, but you use cell phones. I mean, pick a struggle. <laughs> pick a struggle. How you use how you use Wi-Fi, how you use internet, how you use all of this modern technology, but you refuse to shave your armpits, you refuse to bathe. Choose a struggle. Choose a struggle. Thank you, because Jesus Christ never needed a penny. Shoot, y'all know about the loaves and the fish? <laughs> Shoot, water and the wine? Shoot, 
Let it have been 2018 when he would have came down to earth. I'd be like, Jesus, we need some jungle juice. We need some Hennessy. We need... <laughs> so he don't need no coins. He don't need no coins. No coinage. Mm -mm. You said onions and old fish and raw eggs. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, some old dead fish, some old dead fish, yeah, old fish, yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't even know how you want to even make somebody like that your concubine if they smelling like that. I mean, how you, how you, how you enter something like, ugh, mm. nope. Nose be all plugged up. Okay, baby, let's go at it. <laughs> no. But then again, they shoot. They might be used to it by now. They might be used to it. Used to that funk over there. And they intense. You saw the tense. They, I don't know if they living in tense the whole time or if they if the tense is for show. Like I said, a lot of this confusing me because one minute they in homes. And they got TVs and couches and all this kind of stuff. Then the next minute they talking about sleeping on the ground and they in tents. And I'm like, Shh, maybe it's best that they are in tents. Because at least tents you got like, you know, you got some natural fresh air coming through. <laughs> You said you bet the whole, you said he said he came to collect his peoples. And if we don't listen to him, we will burn at home. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm not going to listen to him. And I'm not going to believe any of that mess he be saying. And some of that stuff, if you listen, some of that stuff sounds like it makes sense. It sounds like it makes sense, but I guess if you keep repeat repeatedly hearing it over and over and over from him, like on the video I had watched, she was like, "When so when Soldier Boy, when uh Nature Boy gets upset, he will wake them up at two, three in the morning, make them go outside and stand on the concrete with no shoes on, and stand there for hours while he rants and rages and curses and screams and yells, and they just gotta stand there and take it." Like, who does that? And this man takes all your money and he buys everything for y'all. Y'all food, you know, whatever he thinks y'all need. To, and he distributes distributes things to each of the couples, like the ones that are married or fake married, whatever you want to call it, because they're not really married. But, mm -mm. Nope, and if you ain't got no money, don't even be thinking about trying to go over there. But besides that, I wonder what else um, qualifies you to come over there. Can you just say, oh, I believe you, mighty Eligio the Christ. I believe your teachings and I want to follow you. I mean, how does it work? Besides, you know, helping them financially. Mm. Y'all help a sister out now. <laughs> like I said, I just recently heard about this man and I was like, let me do a live and see what other people think about this man or um, if, you know, if anybody else heard about him, if anybody else is in the dark, I'm like, oh, I think, I think YouTube uh, hid your, uh, hid your, what did you say? Nature Boy reminds you of the guy that goes by the name Tony Alamo. Maybe you guys heard of him. I don't know why they hid your message. Hold on, let me uh try to show it. Okay, Tara, I um clicked on show your message. I guess I don't know why YouTube hid your message for review. Mm. I'm gonna check out that link. Thank you, Tara. Tony Alamo. I haven't heard of him either, but I'm going to definitely check out your link. I've been slowly, you know, trying to watch some of the videos, the videos, but, um, 
looks like my Instagram live is about to end. So everybody on Instagram, if you want to continue with us, go to my YouTube channel. Tanya Knows No Limit. Okay, let me end my uh little live on YouTube. I mean on uh Instagrams. I don't know Instagram had a time limit. That must have been the longest that I've been on there. But uh that's crazy. But yeah, again, I'm gonna check that link out. And I'm going to watch a few more videos. I'm trying to figure this guy out. I don't believe in what he's teaching. Like I said, again, some of the stuff makes sense. But you have to be aware. Um, it's kind of like the Bible. Like you have to be aware. You can't just always listen to what somebody tells you. You know, you can't just let people quote scriptures to you. Because if you don't know the Bible for yourself, they could be quoting, quoting you anything off the top of their head. And so these people who are following and believing him and and also seems to be like kind of worshiping him, I feel sorry for them. I feel so sorry for them. I do. Because it's like you've been living a certain particular way your entire life. And then all of a sudden you wake up and everybody else is living in Babylon and you're living in a whole totally different um community or way of thinking and it's all because of this one man who again used to be a stripper used to be a used to do porn videos and now he's running cults like i mean he he was arrested he'd have been to jail he'd have been i mean breaking and entering assault battery and now he's running a cult and people are just like i don't shoot <laughs> if it's that easy, if it's that easy, there should be more cults out there because that it I and him the thing the thing about it is is him like not somebody with a clean record, not somebody who has done a lot of good deeds in his community, you know, goes to church on a regular basis, you know, raising a family and all this. I mean, this is just like. This is crazy. This is crazy, y'all. <laughs> oh, okay. Because, yeah, normally I'm only on my Instagram live for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Something like that. But that, I'm going I'm to check that link out. I really am. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to check out some of these comments. He was a big time co leader, telling he owned a church here in Nashville, Tennessee as well. And so Jack is to the rich and famous, such as Mr. T. Dolly Parton. Okay. Okay. And you know what? I probably has. The only co member, the only co leader that I really, really always remember is that guy who led that cult. And, and had all the people drink that concoction and the Kool-Aid, and they all died. Like, all of them. I think only a handful of people survived. But, like, they all died. And when they came to where they was all living, it was like everybody was just laid out on the ground. Just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. I will never forget that. Never forget that. And that's crazy. It's like, um, like, okay, a lot of people have student loans. A lot of people have debt. I mean, you just, just hop up and just leave your life to go follow him just because you don't want to take care of your responsibilities. And the people who's leaving their children behind, that is very sad. That is very sad. Then to go over there, that is very sad. I can't understand it. I cannot understand it. Oh my gosh, boss lady. Oh, they have been talking about that with Nikki. And I'm I didn't heard I didn't heard people who are like, okay, let Nikki just date whoever she wants. You know, why can't people just be happy for her? You know, she didn't have some relationships that didn't work out so well. 
Um, she was with Safari forever. You know, that didn't end too well. Um, and then they were saying how the guy that she's dating now, you know, when he had got arrested for what he did, they were saying, you know, he was young. He was a teenager. Can't people change? You know, things like that. Um, I, so I don't know. I think maybe it might be different if she actually had like children and I mean, maybe her way of thinking as far as this relationship, if she had children, like, would you date a rapist, a killer, even if it was alleged, if you had children, some people do, some people do, hell, some people date people in prison, they, they, they only date people in prison, there's so many prison dating websites out there, <laughs> some people live for that type of stuff, the thrill, you know, the thrill, but, um, and then some people's like, you know what, again, you know, that was when he was young, and everything, oh, I don't care. I talk about whoever I want. <laughs> and I, I ain't say nothing negative about her. I ain't say nothing negative about her. I'm just discussing what I've heard about the situation. I really don't know the entire situation. I just go by what I heard. And what I heard is a lot of people are saying, you know, let her just live her life. Let her date who she wants. And then some people is like, you know, this happened a long time ago. He could be a changed person, a changed man. But I don't know. To each his own. To each his own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. But it's just it's just crazy. It's, it's a lot of things going on in this world. And that was just not something that, um, as far as this Allegio the Christ, I'm just like, this stuff really happens. Like, people really, like, lose their cotton-picking mind and follow crazy people and give up their whole life, their whole way of thinking, everything that they've been taught and raised to believe in. They will just give it up at the drop of a hat and move around the world, walk to walk around butt naked, have sex with as many people as you can, whoever you can, eat fruits and berries, and I don't know having babies over there in the wilderness. And again, I want to know what happened to the old lady. Like, was there a death certificate filed? Was there an autopsy done? Was there, um, I mean, where's the jewelry? Was it pawned? Was it kept? Did he give it to one of his wives? Um, did he use it to pay bills? I don't know. I don't know. It's sad. But y'all, y'all, y'all let me know. The ones who um didn't comment in the chat who've been watching, you can always comment later, even after the video. Hit me up in the comment section. Um, I'll get the uh notifications as usual and can chop it up with you in the notifications. I mean in the comment section. But y'all, this is really interesting. Again, I'm gonna watch a few more videos and you know. I, I, I'm not buying into the hype. It, it's just interesting. It's just interesting. And I just can't believe how people, it's like, and this guy got lots of followers. I mean, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I, I don't know. It just seems like one big scam to me. One big scam and one big sex party. And huh, now they got children over there. They got children over there in the wilderness. <laughs> in the wilderness. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, to prove something to young Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. I just, I just want to know what her, what they did with the body. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna find out if they keep on sending that petition around and keep on making them claims of, of what they're doing over there wrong, especially with the diseases and the babies and everything. They're gonna eventually find them. I think they will eventually find them and it, take the baby at least check to see if the baby is okay or if the baby has some life-threatening diseases. 
and stuff like that. And if they are over there legal, if they really have visas, if they are valid, if they, I think something's going to happen. That's another reason why um, it's so interesting because I'm like, is this going to keep going on? Is he going to have, end up having thousands and thousands? I mean, how big is this cult going to grow? It's just interesting. It was shipped back to the family. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, three or four pregnant women. And then, again, like I heard, there was a baby that was, um, a baby that had died over there. I haven't watched all the videos, y'all. I, 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 some of them, I just watched a little bit. And then I'm like, I can't even do this video. I go to the next one. I'm like, okay, this one seems a little bit more interesting. I can take this one. But some of them, when they start talking about all the melanation, carbonation, and the blue sky, and the sun ain't really yellow. And I mean, I'll just be like. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Yes, all this is allegedly. They allegedly all have the virus, the bug. But, mm -mm. but anywho, y'all, I'm about to get off this live. It is almost midnight, and I have to be at work early in the morning. Early in the morning. I got a long day. Tomorrow is my 12-hour day. So I have a long day tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to go to work. It's going to be dark. And when I get home, it's going to be darker. <laughs> yeah, no, Farrell confirmed with the female online that they was there. And the nice nature boy had to see. Yeah, because wasn't it some uh, girl that came over there with the HIV? And then she had sex with one man. And then she was bounced around to somebody else. And then, see? And they circle is too small. They circle is too small. And when you live in, in a circle that small, you got all these women running around butt naked, booty bucket naked. I mean, come on now. Come on now. You got to sleep with one eye open to keep an eye on your mate. <laughs> but yeah <laughs> but okay you guys you guys i enjoyed speaking with y'all tonight i hope y'all enjoyed the live i'll probably watch some more videos and come back again maybe this weekend with another live about this but um boy mm, this is a this is a lot this is a lot this is real this is really happening in this day and time mm mm, -mm. But in the meantime and in between time, primetime squad, you guys have a wonderful evening, a wonderful night. Have a blessed Thursday. And if I don't holler at y'all again, have a good weekend as well. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>